following video is a depiction of the strategies students may use to solve cognitively guided instruction addition word problems. The word problem is as follows. Anna has seven red balloons. How many more balloons does she need to buy to have ten balloons? Today we are going to use partial sums through number bonds to solve this problem. To begin, let's review. What do you know? You know that Hannah has seven balloons and that she wants ten balloons. How can you figure out how many more balloons Hannah needs? One way to solve this problem would be to get out one ten frame and one empty ten frame. Fill in the empty one with seven red place markers and count the remainder needed to get to ten. One, two, three. Now that we've had hands-on experience with manipulating concrete objects, let's move on to pictorial models. Begin by drawing 10 balloons five and ten. And color seven of them red. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. And then count how many more would you have to color to get to ten balloons? One, two, three. Hopefully, the pictorial model aided in giving you a visual of our word problem. Now, we are going to use that visual to move on to the abstract model. We start by saying seven plus blank equals 10. You can solve this using a number line. Begin at 7. Next, we will jump to see how many jumps will land us on the number 10. 7 to 8 is 1. 8 to 9 is 1, so we're at 2. And 9 to 10, that leaves us with 3. Now that we've explored a few different ways to solve this problem, we can now relate it back to number bonds. If you were to make a number bond for this word problem, it would look like a 10 as the whole, a 7 as one of the parts, and a question mark as the other part. Now that we have solved it, we understand that Hannah would need three more balloons to make 10. For more student math strategy videos, check out our UH Math Education channel.